So some of you may not know this, but you actually do have a built-in auto clicker within your iPhone. So if you ever wanted to go ahead and actually configure this on, you can actually do it without having to download another app or whatever the case is. So if you want to go and set it up, the very first thing you want to do is you want to make your way over to your iPhone settings and you basically want to scroll down until you get into your accessibility settings. So scroll down, you don't have to go too far, which is right here. And what you want to do here is you want to get into your switch control option. So click on switch control and you don't have to keep switch control on, but these two options here, switches and recipes are the things we're going to be kind of modifying. So we wanna go and click on the switches option and all we wanna do is add the full screen option here. You probably won't have this here. So what you wanna do is you wanna click add new switch. You wanna click on the screen option here and you wanna make sure this full screen switch, when you click on it, you wanna select the select item one and that will basically add that into this specific panel. So make sure it's the select item one in the next page and you basically come here. Now that is pretty much like your third of the way done basically. So now what you can do is swipe back and now we wanna add a recipe. So this recipe is basically going to be essentially what we want this thing to do. So I already built one which was the untitled recipe here. So what you can do here is you wanna click on create new recipe and when you come into this page, you wanna go ahead and you can name it whatever you want to. And then we wanna go ahead and click assign a new switch or assign a switch. And here we want to make sure it's that full screen one that we just made. So click there. And here you can go and configure it whatever way you want to. So if you wanted to have it as like tab middle of the screen or right to left swipe, you can go and set that up. Or you can do a custom gesture, which I think is probably what a lot of people wanna do. So you wanna click on custom gesture. And what you can do here is you can pretty much just use the gesture that you normally would. So if you wanted something to like tap constantly in like different spaces, what you can do is you can like tap it like this. And essentially whatever you do here, if you go ahead and swipe it up or whatever, it'll go ahead and set this up essentially what you do here. So basically you want it to be whatever you want to be here. And that's all you have to do. Whenever you're done though, you can go and click save and that is it. You can now name it whatever you want to. So you can name this like entitled recipe two, whatever you want to call it. And then you can go and click back and you're pretty much almost good to go. Now this bottom portion where it says launch recipe, this is what essentially we want it to launch when we go ahead and kind of, you know, enable it. So click on launch recipe and you want to choose the one that you want to go ahead and have it enabled when we actually activate it. So you can only do one at a time. So choose whichever one. In this case, we'll just choose this one since it's the new one. We'll go and click back. We'll go and click back again to switch control and we are almost good to go. So now what we want to do is we want to swipe back and we want to basically enable that accessibility shortcut to essentially give us the ability of actually going through and you know enabling one of these. So what we want to do here is you want to go and click on the side button. So now what we want to do is scroll down until you see accessibility shortcut. Now what you want to do here is you want to click that and you'll see this little option come up. Now what we want to do is we want to enable the switch control option here. So this is basically going to give us that option of you know utilizing switch control. So now when we're done, all we have to do now is essentially whenever we're at the page of we want basically of the you know little auto clicker to generate, we want to triple click the side button here and that will actually enable it. So if we make our way over to our notes button here, little notes section, well, what I can do is I can go ahead and add a, like a little drawing thing. And if I triple click this side, it should automatically draw whatever I just did. So if I triple click, it should get this little pop-up. Then you want to go and click OK. And you can see it'll go ahead and do exactly whatever I wanted to do with it. So it could take a second as you can see it's doing whatever it needs to do. I should have exited out of this sooner. So it's looking like it's not going to allow me to exit out of it. But it is what it is. And because we kind of waited and installed a little bit longer, it may end up taking a little bit longer amount of time as you can see. So it can take a little bit of a second. So it depends on how long your auto clicker thing is. But you can see it'll just keep going and going and going until you pretty much click and triple click the side button. And that is pretty much how to do it. Now I demonstrated it earlier and you can see that it did leave a few dots here and there, but that is pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.